Connor Bedar has been labeled as an elite prospect for years now. He was the Western Hockey League's first exceptional status player. He scored 28 points in 15 games as a 15-year-old for the Pats. And now in his draft year, he continues to exceed the lofty expectations. Each goal he scores seems more impressive than the previous one. He currently has a strangled hold on the league scoring race, and it will likely remain this way until the end of the season. In this video, we're going to look at his best performance of the season so far, the November 17th game against the Winnipeg Ice, to better understand what makes him such a great prospect. Pats intercepted the neutral zone. Here comes Bedard in a hurry. Bedard cuts in, and the net, he scores! Bedard starts the game with one of the best dangles I've seen in quite a while. Most players here would just cut across the defenders and drop the puck to one of their teammates, or they would fire from the top of the zone. But what makes Bedar special is that he instantly spots offensive advantages. He knows he has a speed difference with the defenders here, and space to set up a feint. He attacks at an angle because he wants the opponent on his left to cross his feet, or at least to shift his weight on his left leg, a move that would make it impossible for him to recover in time to cut Bedar's drive around. Bedar knows the timing of this feint, but he's also reading the defender inside his move to adjust that timing. As soon as the defender initiates his counter step here, Bedar pulls the puck inside his feet and avoids the stick. That's an incredibly difficult move, as it also involves a complete change in footwork. He catches the puck the other way and immediately protects it by opening up his legs. What separates Bedar from other top prospects is partly his awareness inside his moves. He sees and adapts to the smallest change in the positioning of a defender. Bedar finds himself in a one-on-one -on -one again in this situation, but he tries a different approach than the previous one. He knows where his advantage lies here, the space in the middle of the ice. So he cuts across and then tries a drag shot around the stick of the last defender. Bedar is a quick thinker, but it's more accurate to call him an informed player. He's always scanning the ice when there's a lull in the play. Like here, the puck is chipped in the zone, so Bedar looks around to map out the options of the puck retriever to try and guess where the puck will go. Bedard on a 19-game point-scoring streak, Suze Taleb has points in six straight. Then the play comes back in his zone, and his team gets it back. As they rush out of the zone, Bedard is once again scanning ahead to map out the ice and anticipate the next plays. He drives the net and stops there to provide a potential outlet to one of his teammates. That's another great habit that we will see quite often in this game. Bedard's constant scanning is another reason why he's so dominant on the ice. He's extremely aware of his surroundings at all times. He knows his options, the position of defenders, and his gap with them. Because he's so aware, it's also easier for him to anticipate the play. Armstrong, back to the line. Here's Bedard, top of the right circle, gets by one man, sends it rink wide, shot off the crossbar as Sustalev put it off the red bar. Bedard can manipulate defenders at will. He's amazing at leveraging one threat or one move to open up an even better offensive look for a teammate. In the sequence before, he faked a shot on the power play to reach his teammates across the ice. Here, he fakes a drive down the wall and then a pass across to reach a fourth teammate coming in the zone, the one who had the most space. The next play is another elite one. Dicks in, Geeky wins it. Berg will play it off. Sues to left, now to Bedard. Hits the blue line, hesitates. Still with it right now, set it up in front, he scores! First, there's the pace. Bedar attacks up ice at full speed. There are many reasons for that. He makes defenders uncomfortable, but he also knows that he can use that speed to manipulate the defensive gap with a downshift. His change of speed creates just enough space. It allows him to evade two sticks and then pass across to a teammate. Bedar is not just manipulating defenders with his skating and stick handling here. He uses his option to his right here as a decoy to force the defensive presence that way, creating a lane to his teammate to his left. We've only seen a few minutes so far, but it's clear that Bedar is an extremely high-end game reader. He's aware and processes the play fast. He sees when defenders are out of position, overshooting him, or compromising themselves. And even when they are in a good position, he can force them to cover the wrong play. He makes the game a lot easier for his teammates. While he's dangling four defenders here, look at his winger. He strides for a bit, glides, puts his stick down, and gets the puck for the goal. The scary thing is that Bedar is still developing his playmaking. There's probably another level he can reach. Puck work down. Here's McLennan. Looking for it down and behind the net. Parker Bird plays it off left wing. Winnipeg attacks and the puck gets stumped in the corner. Bedar's team swarms and they create a turnover. He intercepts the puck, skates up and then sends it to the other side of the ice, inside space. He then prepares his entry. 
Bedar is just as good at finding open space away from the puck than at creating plays with it. Like here, he clearly adapts his route to position himself between the two defenders. He stays high to avoid the net front coverage, which makes it easier for his teammate to find him with a pass. I usually don't like zoomed in cameras like this, because you can't really see the play. But in this case, we get a pretty good view of Pedar's mechanics as he rushes. His head is always up and his eyes are scanning the whole eyes to find options and see his space with the defensive line. His skating also has a pretty good form. He shifts his weight completely on each leg. And he also handles the puck with quick, short, almost rolling motions that allows him to instantly adapt to potential poke checks. So far, we have mostly talked about Bedar's hockey sense, but he's also earning high grades for his technical ability, his skating and handling. There's a defensive zone presence and a dumped out puck that Bedar anticipates. He gets to it first, he doesn't try to dangle his way out of pressure. He's smarter than that. He scans behind him to see his support, lets the puck slide into space, absorb a hit, and then passes on first touch. The puck comes back to him and he creates a second scoring chance. Geeky with a puck again. Susula back on the back check. Puck aerialed out, right wing side, but Arnold will knock it down. Susula going to the net, but Ard trails, he shoots and he just missed stick side. This was another great manipulation sequence from Bedar. Again, it's all in the preparation. He uses the threat of the pass, but he also transfers his speed wide. This move buys time for his teammate to level with him and for the defender to slide back toward his net, which opens space in the middle. At first, Bedar keeps all of his options open with his posture. He can shoot or pass, but as he sees the defender initiate a slide, he knows that his best play is to attack the slot. Bedar is adaptable. That's another great quality of his game. He's not fixed on one play, but willing to see what the defense and the game affords him before making a move. Here's another example. He feints defenders by keeping the puck in a deceptive posture. He baits poke checks and waits to see where the crack in the opposing formation appears, and then finds his teammate in the middle. While Bedar does play with some talented teammates, he doesn't have an all-star cast around him. Even when he creates favorable conditions for others, the puck doesn't always come back to him. This is a pretty poor pass that he still transforms into a great setup by dancing around a stick. He knew that his teammate would drive the slot and he sent the puck perfectly to his stick. This pass was a great display of anticipation. Unfortunately, the shot hits the post. The play heads the other way. At the moment, Bedar does cheat for offense a bit. He adds a lot of pace to his team's transitions by catching defenders off guard with his drives up ice but he can also leave his teammates in difficult spots in some situations. Here, he makes a good stop after circling back in. He then gains the offensive zone for a shot on net. Bedar's tendency to skate ahead of breakouts does help him score. It's not really a long-term concern, just a habit he picked up with the Pats. He will have to change his playstyle a bit in his transition to his team next season. Here's another great dangle sequence from Bedar. Again, he picks up a speed difference, attacks at an angle, and uses the threat of his shot to get past defenders. Pass now to Bedard. Cuts laterally through center. Nifty play by Bedard. Dangles right in and he just missed to the glove side. You see Connor McDavid do that at the NHL level. It's the edge work. That and he continues to manipulate the defense. He fakes passes to gain a step on a defender and then drags the position down the zone to open space at the top of it for teammates. Bedard's feints are very projectable to the NHL because they are diverse. He fakes the position with both his hands and movement. Here he fakes one way turns the defender's feet, and then attacks the other way. The defender can't recover in time to stop him. A shot from that closed angle was probably a bad decision, however. It creates a great scoring chance and a goal for the other team. Benson racing in, Savoy is there, puck in front, he scores! Benar desperately wants to score for his team in this shift. He ends the game with a two-minute shift. He's already 40 seconds into that long shift here. He barely touches the puck, which is not ideal considering he's the best player in junior hockey right now. But it's a good thing for our evaluation of his game, as it gives us an occasion to see his techniques to get away from coverage around the net. His teammate comes down the wing here, and as he reaches the top of the circle, Bedar spins on his defender to try and free his stick to deflect a potential shot pass. The puck moves behind the net, so Bedar moves up and improves passing angles. Then, he moves through a check to get his stick in a deflection position. He works to get open. The list of strengths that Bedar showed in this game is far longer than the weaknesses. We saw his ability to adapt to the play and find the best option. He also attacked inside constantly and freed himself from coverage to receive passes. It's clear that he has many high-end skills. Both his skating and stick handling great as high-end, and his playmaking and shooting too. From the right point, how blocked it, he's gonna try to spring Bedard. Trying to catch him as pool. Bedard's in alone, he shoots, he scores! 
Bedard remains the most offensively skilled player in this draft, the best bet to become an elite player in the NHL, maybe even a generational one. In this video, we didn't even get to analyze his shot, his best ability, but the good news is that we will have many more articles and videos on him between now and the draft. Bedard, he'll skate the length of the ice, Bedard in, pulls and shoots and scores! Yeah, that's what we knew was possible. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out epringside.com.